Hello folks, welcome to the channel. How's everyone doing? Uh, in today's video, I want to show you guys how to set the clock and use the programmable timer on the Black & Decker 12 cup programmable coffee maker. Now I did a demo on this and I did show this in the demo, but I, I, it's, I'm not happy with it. I think I kind of rushed it and it's one of my popular videos. So I just want to be a little bit more detailed with this, what I actually walk you guys through this. So we're gonna get right into it, but before we do, if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. I would appreciate that. When you plug it in, it's gonna flash 12 o'clock. The first thing you wanna do is set the time, the current time. And you do that by going over to the hour and minute button. In this example, we'll just set it for um, 7.05 p.m. And just press the hour button until you get to 7.05 p.m. Now we're in a.m. right now. But once we pass, once we pass 12 o'clock, it's going to go to PM. You notice that dot just came on right there. I'm going to go to seven. It's a little sticky. Sometimes you have to press it twice. You could hold it down as well. 705. Okay. So now that we set the clock, now we're going to go ahead and set the programmable timer. And it's the same way you would set the time. We're going to press the program button. It's going to blink 12 o'clock and just use the hour and minute button to set the time you want it to start operating in the morning. Now we're in AM. That hour button is sticky. And by the way, you can hold it down and it'll scroll a lot faster. Just wanted to show that. Actually, let's set it for 630 now. So we want it to go off at 6.30 a.m. You'll set the time, and then you're going to go over and just press and hold the auto button just for a couple of seconds until you see this light illuminate, and now she's set to go off at your desired time. Okay, folks, that's how you do it. Once again, I put water in there. I didn't make coffee. Just wanted to show that for this example, for this video, rather. Now one note I want to make mention of, and as this is actually a very good feature, is that this unit has a two hour auto shut off. So after two hours, it's automatically going to shut itself off. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you found it helpful. Uh, I don't do this that often, but seeing that I'm getting close to a thousand subscribers, I might add more videos like this in the mix.